there are 84 ICU beds open in Colorado right now. So if you're absolutely certain that you or someone you love will not need one, be it for illness or accident or anything, then go ahead and change the channel. But for the other 100% of us, this is a real issue, especially how the total number of ICU beds in our state keeps dropping. Marshall Zellinger looks at how a bed can be there one day and out of service the next. There are 1,554 ICU beds in Colorado as of today. 95% of them are filled. Two days ago, there were 1,626 total ICU beds. One year ago, more than 1,900. Why is the total number dropping today? I mean, the beds can't just be disappearing. When we talk about beds, uh, you know, those are beds that are staffed. Uh, it's not just an empty bed. It, it comes with a nurse and a doctor and uh, a respiratory therapist and all of the support services uh, that ensure that care can be delivered. The beds are still there. The people to care for the person in the bed, that fluctuates. It's really no different than going to a restaurant and having to wait even though you see that empty table. We would definitely rather hold back on seating a table um, than uh, have someone experience less than perfect service. Jeff Stoltman is the general manager of Garden Grace downtown, which isn't having this issue now, but he still humored us for this analogy. One we've probably all experienced, waiting for a table that we're looking at where no one ever gets seated. We need to uh, have a certain amount of people for uh, for each table from back of the house to front of the house staff. And here we have a very talented team, but um, we can't overextend them. Overextending hospital staff is a real concern. We asked the state's COVID-19 incident commander if the staffing shortage for ICU beds is due to vaccine mandates by hospitals. I don't see any direct correlation there, uh, Marshall. You know, what we see is that now, the vast majority of our ICU beds are along the I-25 corridor. The highest acuity beds are in the areas uh, where there are the most people. Now, it is possible for beds to come online. So this total number that we're at now could go up over the next few days. And that's because there are rooms that are not ICU beds currently that if there were enough staff, Kyle, they could be converted into becoming an ICU room if needed. You can convert beds. You can't necessarily convert staff. Take a medical nope. professional from one area and say, and now you're in charge of this ICU. Right. Bed. And I'm learning and hopefully can do a story on this soon that it's almost like air traffic control, knowing how much staff you have at a current time and how much you're about to have maybe the next day to know, can we take this person? Can we convert this room to an ICU for tomorrow? And it's you're juggling staff just like any other profession. Just think yeah. of your coworkers. They take vacation. They call in sick. Like that's going to make the ICU bed numbers fluctuate also. They burn out after a miserable year and a half. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Marshall.